Designated quarantine. Riots have continued for a third consecutive day, and winter rations are at an all-time low. So we have Ellie, she has an arm bite. Could, bearing in mind what we know about this world, so let's assume there's not a great mm. deal of science there, could we take a sample for, of tissue or something from her arm bite and use that to grow up a vaccine of some sort? Not a, not a chance. No? No. Why not? Uh, that's not how the uh, a vaccine or the immune system works. The the, the um, no? If she didn't get infected right uh, at the point of the uh, uh, exposure, it's not her immune system that got that sorted. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that she's not susceptible, and not being susceptible is, is very different to not to being protected mm. by an immune response from your immune system. Not being susceptible, for example, uh, is the case of uh, some people cannot get HIV because HIV to to come into your 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 cells, your T cells, has to bind to a receptor to a protein on your cell, and that allows it to come in. And there's a, a few percentage of people in the world that actually has a, have a mutation in that protein and the bug cannot... So they, they don't have the lock that the, yes, that the viral key exactly. fits exactly. That's the first way that is, let's say, non-susceptible. That's one mm. way. The other way to be protected from any disease is basically, it, and that's where maybe the incubation period is important, you can get an infection. Let's say you get a wound and you get an infection and... and some people with a different immune system than yours would be in very, in, in very big disease and you not. And that may be because your immune system had, had the time to, to come, make the antibodies mm. and, and, and protect and then eliminate the disease and another immune system might not. More or less, we're we all re resistant or we can make antibodies to anything that come, come in, mm -hmm. providing we have the time for that. And uh, well, there's some of genetic background in, our, in us that makes that can be different. Some people can make less of certain types of antibodies than others if I simplify a bit. So do, do we think, I mean, you mentioned, so let's say that she, she has had the time and she <laughs> is producing antibodies to protect herself. It's Could we purify the uh, the sort of plasma or the serum yep. from, from her blood and use if that? If she has antibodies, yes. Then you, you, could, you could identify the antibodies um, in the blood. You could use the antibodies. What I would do is to identify what is the target on the bug, what is the protein or, or the sugar or whatever on the bug, and then use that uh, piece to produce my vaccine, mm. right? If you would want to take these antibodies to protect other people, that's also possible. I mean, Ebola is a case where mm. people were just transfusing from from other people that that recovered from Ebola. Yes, you can use that to the amount that that there's a certain amount uh, of. There's only a certain amount of blood in Ellie's body, I suppose. And you yes. Say yes. Okay. Exactly. She needs time to recuperate. Uh, but but having her antibodies, there's there's. There's now a uh, relatively recent but techniques. Yes, you could use her blood to make uh, antibodies, so that would be a sort of treatment of by actually taking the, the B cells, the lymphocytes that produce the antibodies. The antibodies are produced by cells mm -hmm. called B cells. And it is uh, uh, possible if you identified what, what, what is what is the antibody that it actually is able to, to stop the bug? You, you want to find the exact sequence, the genetic sequence that allows your cell to make that antibody, mm. and then you can manufacture that antibody. <laughs> okay, so she's infected. So that's a different scenario again. S there's not being sus susceptible, they've been protected, so your antibodies kill the bug. And in this case, she's infected, but not developing the disease. That's also something different. That is fine if you, if you create a vac some vaccine. Yeah, if you create a vaccine that does that, that's okay. Yeah. I mean, well what you she's what you there, care I mean, yeah. what you care is everybody not dying or not getting sick. Not mm. necessarily whether they're infected or not. Does it matter if you if everybody's getting infected but they're not sick? I mean, most of us maybe have a CMV infection, but we don't get sick about it. So that's all right. Uh, what infection? Uh, CMV, cytomegalovirus. Cytomegalovirus. Uh, for okay. example. So we take her yeah. to our our research uh, resource poor but appropriate for the for the period research center, mm -hmm. how long would it take to develop something that they could inject into me to prevent me getting infected with the fungus? And what steps would we have to go through? Let's, let's very briefly go through. Briefly? Maybe, yeah, let's in a few sentences. What, what, what steps do you have to go through? Briefly, it's difficult. Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You have to yeah, identify the strategy you're going to come up with. Probably you would try s a, a few different strategies. Um, you need a system to grow your bug safely mm -hmm. and, and see uh, whether the antibodies or whatever you find in her uh, can block the, the replication of, of, of the virus. So you need, uh, for example, a cell line where you can grow the, the bug mm -hmm. and then 
put a serum in and see if a serum kills the bug or actually prevents it from uh, killing the cells mm -hmm. where the okay. bug is coming in, these sort of things. Um, I'm, I'm afraid I have to touch that. You may need an animal model mm -hmm. to sort of test your... your, your yes, I don't think that... Well, in this, in this instance, they might try and grow in humans. It seems like uh, humanity has... Well, if they try to grow in humans, that's, uh, uh, that's more of an ethic issue. Well, let's talk about that as well. I that think that's something we need to discuss. That's, yeah. that's, that's a big issue. That means that, le let's say... Um, f f to have an idea for vaccines is relatively quick. Uh, uh, we have many vaccine delivery platforms that, that, that we can try. And, and if it was me, I would try quite a few of them. Um, try to work in vitro and identify what is needed to, to, to stop that bug. Um, and then you go in, in, in vivo experiments to, let's say you, you develop your vaccine, you have to, to, to check whether it protects or not before mm. you, you immunize. I mean, because I take a, a little bit of the bug, you're not gonna immunize the whole- Just because you it to me, doesn't mean it'll do anything at all. Exactly, or so you have to check harm, that. Yeah, ex exactly, so you have to check that, that the, the, the response you're inducing is actually able to stop the, the, the infection or the disease. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, uh, then you need uh, yes, uh, a model, uh, an, an animal model. Uh, in my mind, is better than using humans. But okay, we're in dire situation. Uh, then it's an ethics point of uh, discussion. Uh, well, let's let's well. shift For over to so a little so bit. I think. I mean, yeah, yeah let's. let's but if, if I finish on the timing mm. thing, the, the what we call the preclinical. So before you test your vaccine in a human, can take. In the best case scenario, I'd say two years and uh, in the normal scenario it's five ten years ten years five. potentially ten if years if it's well look at hiv for example uh, how mm. long are we 20 years yeah 20 30 More? years probably yeah. 30 years and and we don't well we have things in clinical trials but not not a product so it really depends on the complexity of the bug and the complexity of of, of fighting it or, or finding mm. ways to fight it and how the bug reacts to to the to the fight some bugs just mutate you have an antibody that blocks it and then uh, the next again. generation yeah. it's it's mutated so that is a very big 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 deal so typically we we, we, we do say vaccine developer developers that if we are given a disease yeah it takes 10 years it's t 10 years is an optimistic it's yeah. So we face a black for 10, 20 15, years later, 20 and we face a black for 30 years later, then potentially. I say uh, group, B, group B and Neisseria meningitidis, I think uh, uh, Novartis started in 1999 or something, and the vaccine came, came out last year mm -hmm. or was rolled in the UK last year. So you see that that was a complicated bug, but y you see the timeline is, is um, it's yeah. elongated. Well, it can be elongated. It can be shortened, let's say, take e e Ebola. There was some preclinical stuff done in the uh, uh, early 2000, probably, I don't know, four or five years maybe. And then when the Ebola outbreak came out, then uh, one was able to use that knowledge and go to, to, to clinic within, what, one year or two? If that's that's when there's an emergency, you, you can put uh, much more speed, I mm. guess. What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. <laughs>